Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and I have a few interesting stories for you in this latest Moon Lambo hot jam, which is the correct way to say hot jam. I'll be starting with this one. 287.2 million XRP moved by Ripple, its EU on-demand liquidity partner, which I want to talk about, uh, and Coinbase, which is also a little bit interesting, but in particular, the on-demand liquidity part. And uh, there is this story that I found interesting, which I'll share with you towards the end of this video from Cointelegraph, titled Bitcoin Whale from 2010 Moves 100 Bitcoin for First Time in 11 Years. Now, you want to talk about diamond hands. <laughs> or, or maybe it's not diamond hands. Maybe it's somebody found uh, <laughs> found the, uh, the, uh, the key for this, for this account at the bottom of a sock drawer a decade later. Maybe that's more like, likely, I think. <laughs> Man, I don't know, but anytime you, you see like Bitcoin from the early days moving around, that is fascinating. Uh, I do want to be clear that uh, I am not a financial advisor. I have no financial background of any kind, not offering financial advice, I never will. And you should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm simply an enthusiast in the crypto space. I'm a big fan of XRP. I hold a bunch of it. And I make YouTube videos as a hobby. That is all that it is. This does not make me special. In fact, I pride myself on having the worst name, Moon Lambo, in the entire XRP community. A ba bam I sure got that. All right, so let's jump into this first piece. Popular crypto tracking service, Whale Alert, which shares data on large crypto transactions on its Twitter page, has announced that several large XRP transfers were detected less than 24 hours ago, with Ripple and Coinbase among the participating parties. Uh, and so the, the amount ended up being about uh, 288 million XRP, worth at the time $141 million, so massive quantities moving around from massive entities. Ripple, the company Ripple, transferred... 30 million XRP from its wallet to the Bitstamp exchange, which is also an on-demand liquidity a partner that operates in Europe. It's located in Luxembourg. Now, they also do have a location in the United States. And so the most prominent corridor that, of on-demand liquidity that Ripple's been able to set up is from the United States to Mexico, with the vast majority of those flows coming from Bitstamp in the United States to Bitso in Mexico. Uh, Bitrix is another United States-based on-demand liquidity partner, uh, but in terms of like the percentage of flows from the United States to, to Mexico's uh, exchange uh, Bitso, almost all of it was coming from Bitstamp here. And so I've been saying for some time you're kind of bitching up a little Moon Lambo storm about not having any, any official information from Ripple. Not that they owe it to us, but I, I, just, I haven't had any word about the effect of uh, you know exchanges halting the trading of XRP on uh, on demand liquidity, which utilizes XRP as a bridge currency. So, with Bitstamp being the primary pool of liquidity in the United States for this corridor, I've been I've been opining for some time. Like uh, it may be the case that Bitstamp is still facilitating that role, just not through everyday Joe Schmo retail speculators. It could just be that they're holding a bunch, and so it does make me wonder. And I, I don't have the answer, but. It might be reasonable to speculate that if Ripple's still sending XRP to Bitstamp, they've got to be doing something or else. What the hell is the point of that? So I don't know. If anybody has any, any additional insight, let me know, and I'll be happy to credit you in a future video because I don't pretend to know everything. I just I just think this is the most amazing community. The XRP community is the best community in all of crypto, isn't even a close second, and we all work together to share what we know, and uh, I always appreciate that. And I'll always be uh, giving credit where it's due and propping up those that are contributing to, uh, to the XRP community in any sort of way possible. But um, it is fascinating to see that that's occurring. And then beyond that, Coinbase, they've just been in the news constantly for moving crazy huge amounts of XRP despite the fact that trading isn't occurring. So on their platform for now, it's halted. Just like most exchanges have halted the trading of XRP on their platforms. And so it, it, uh, it just makes me wonder, why are they shifting around so frequently? Uh, a lot of the time when this happens, it, it has to do with you know, something for security purposes. So maybe it's that. Outside of that, I don't know if, it, if, if there were a lot, if there were trading going on, I could understand how you need to move XRP from you know a, a cold wallet to a hot wallet or you know back and forth. I just I don't know. I don't know. It's just interesting to see it moving around. 
Now, um, they did cite in this article, too, and this was interesting, that there are multiple XRP haters. I don't know why they decided to throw this in, but this is interesting nonetheless, so I wanted to highlight it. They talk about Peter Schiff and, uh, and John McAfee in particular. And it just I just want to highlight this just to illustrate the point that some of the most prominent people in the world of crypto, they just crap all over Ripple and they crap all over XRP. They just hate it. It's, it's ideologically out of phase with what they think makes sense in the world. And I, I just want to share with you that they don't always know what the hell they're talking about. Their opinion isn't more valid just because they're, they are of prominence. And so I wanted to, to highlight this piece from June 25th of last year titled, John McAfee Calls XRP Worthless, Claims MoneyGram Does Not Use It. And you can see there is this video, and I, I talked about this at the time. I just found it interesting, and I was kind of chuckling about this here. And in the video, he's talking about how, you know, XRP isn't used for anything, basically. And somebody named Nitro <laughs> responded to John McAfee and wrote, MoneyGram uses XRP. It was purely a factual statement, you know. Uh, John McAfee responded, no, it doesn't wake up. Which is, John McAfee could not have been more wrong at that point. Uh, literally, uh, quite literally, uh, MoneyGram was utilizing at that time on-demand liquidity, which is Ripple's product, which uses XRP as a bridge currency for settlement. No idea what he's talking about. And so it's, it's I just want to say people of prominence, and there are all sorts of others. I'm just highlighting this one for the sake of it, but there are tons of others. You know, the type that you see interviewed on, uh, you know, CNBC and, you know, mainstream media, they, they put the Bitcoin people on there. Well, the Bitcoin people don't like the XRP community, which is ridiculous because I, like, so many in the, the XRP community, including me, are pro-Bitcoin, long Bitcoin. And so it's just ridiculous. Like, we, we can't be part of their cool kids club because we also happen to think that it's cool that XRP is helping some of the poorest people on the planet move money around uh, it more efficiently and at a lower price point. Uh, to me, that's a, a source of good. That's a force for good. And if you, you know, the Bitcoin maxis, if they could snap their fingers and just make XRP go away, they would. And to me, that's evil. And you can see here, somebody else responded to John McAfee and wrote, thoughts on XRP, John? And he responded with one word, worthless. <laughs> All right, John McAfee, you're, uh, you're a little off base there. <laughs> It's it's so funny to me because XRP is one of the only cryptocurrencies on the planet used in enterprise-grade software for anything. There are over 7,000 cryptocurrencies. Almost none of them do a damn thing. And, uh, and fair enough to point out now that in early December, I covered this in another video, so I'll just be brief, but I'd be remiss if not acknowledging this here since we're talking about that. Uh, MoneyGram, we did recently find out just the other day, they did stop using on-demand liquidity. And uh, they'd like to jump back, and at some point that was made clear by Alex Holmes, which is MoneyGram's uh, a CEO, but they're going to need some sort of clarity surrounding the status of XRP. And so there was this piece that I covered the other day from Crypto News Flash titled, Ripple General Manager Burla Assures Path Forward in New On-Demand Liquidity Customers After MoneyGram's Suspension. So I do suspect MoneyGram will come back at some point. And on top of that, he, Ashish Burla, he did announce the other day, he announced that there will be an announcement, basically. Uh, there are going to be new customers announced that are utilizing XRP as a bridge currency via on-demand liquidity. It's on the way, my friends. So sit tight. I can't wait to report that when the news comes out. Should be sooner than later, based on what he wrote there. All right, and then this, this story from Cointelegraph. Bitcoin whale from 2010 moves 100 Bitcoin for first time in 11 years. A veteran miner has cracked open their 2010 stash of Bitcoin, with crypto analysts spotting 100 Bitcoin being transferred from two wallets that had laid dormant for more than a decade. Prior to today's transaction, the addresses had not seen any activity since receiving a 50 Bitcoin Coinbase reward each nearly 11 years ago, except for two incoming transactions worth just 0.00000547 Bitcoin each that were sent to the wallets in the last six months. Uh, the February 25th transaction combined the two mining address outputs, uh, indicating both addresses being the, uh, belong to the same owner. The two blocks were mined only a couple of hours apart on June 10th, 2010. I'll tell you what, <clears throat> talk about being early to the party. Holy hell. I think we're early to the party, frankly, but that's just on a whole nother level right there. Uh, Bitcoin is currently trading at $49,800, giving the coins a combined value of nearly $5 million. Whew. Can you imagine that? If you would have told somebody that their 100 Bitcoin 
would be worth five million dollars in a little over a decade like, who would believe that even what, what my magic internet money my magic internet money will be worth five million dollars get out of here crazy person but it became true uh, with bitcoin trading for uh, eight cents when the coins were mined the whales holdings have increased in value by 622,500 times <laughs> that is crazy um, and there's a tweet here um, <clears throat> citing from, uh, I wasn't familiar with this individual here. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry guys. Somebody named Antoine LeCalvids, uh, no noting that the coins had moved and wrote, it's very rare to see pre-GPU era Bitcoins move. It only happens dozens of times, or happened dozens of times in the past few years. And no, it's probably not Satoshi. So uh, there you go. Interesting stuff here. It'll be neat to see a decade from now how many um, XRP accounts remain dormant for that length of time. Because even though it'll be a very small percentage, I'm willing to bet that uh, uh, many are going to fit the bill. In fact, I'm, I'm, part of the reason I'm so confident, I mean, it, to me, it's, it's a certainty because there are a certain percentage of accounts, a small percentage, that put their, um, their XRP or at least, you know, portions of what they hold into an account that's escrow, personal escrow, that they can't remove. And they put some far timestamps out. Uh, all sorts of people did that uh, for their children, stuff like that. So you'll be seeing stories over the coming decades, as long as XRP, you know, continues to be a thing. And I think it will, <laughs> uh, certainly. As long as it continues to be useful, and uh, you know, it'll be continue, continue to be adopted. But uh, you'll, you'll see these stories over the coming decades about small amounts at the XRP small at the time worth fortunes in the future just like you're seeing here I, I predict that will happen so long as XRP continues to be adopted in a meaningful way because utility and value are ultimately going to matter so if you fast forward a couple decades and that doesn't exist for XRP in the future well then no but I don't have any indication that's going to be the case if I do ever I'll be happy to shout it from the rooftops on the moon lambo channel but I am Mr. XRP bull for a reason my friends it's one of the few cryptos, again, that's actually functionally doing anything. I think that matters. I'll wrap up there, though. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.